Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, I am Dr. Esperanza and I teach algebra, statistics, calculus and a lot of math um, classes here in my YouTube channel. And for today, we're going to be working on basic algebra, which is lesson on integers or adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing of positive and negative numbers. And when we're working on operations involving integers, it is extremely important that you know or can visualize your number line when you add, subtract, and multiply, divide, positive and negative numbers. And among the four different operations on integers or basic op operations on integers, the multiplication and the division operations would be the easier operations to work on. And uh, we're going to be working on the rules on multiplying and dividing, and then we'll do addition and subtraction afterwards. Now the rule for multiplying and dividing two integers is pretty basic. It's just same signs will equal or result to a positive answer. And if you have different signs, your result, your quotient, or your product will be a negative value. So let's say we're going to be multiplying two numbers, say 2 times 5. And we know that 2 times 5 using our multiplication table is equal to 10. And before you dive in to learning integers, as I've been telling to all my students, it's extremely important that they know and master the multiplication table. So I highly recommend and suggest that if you want to um, be proficient and uh, be able to answer more math problems easily and with confidence, master your multiplication table. Now, in multiplying two or more numbers, there are several notations or how we write expressions or equations in mathematics. Sometimes the multiplication operations can be represented by a parenthesis or a dot. So they, these are some of the uh, operations or notations that you will see when we are multiplying two or more numbers. Now, going back to the rules in multiplying two numbers, let's say we have two times negative five and the notation that we're using will be the parentheses. And we know that two times negative five, applying the rule, since we know that different signs will give you a negative result, your answer will be negative. Now, all you need to do is to supply the correct product by knowing your multiplication table. So the answer will be negative 10. So if I have the same two numbers, but with negative signs, say negative 2 times negative 5, the answer or the product of the two numbers would be positive 10 because they have the same negative value for 5 and, excuse, excuse me, and 2. So if I have negative 2 times positive 5, my answer will be negative 10 because one of the numerical value is negative. So these are the rules that you need to use when you are multiplying two numbers. And if you have three or more numbers to multiply together, we have another rule that you need to remember. If you have an even number of negative signs, your answer or product would be positive. And if you had an odd number of negative signs in your product or your expression, your answer will be negative. So let's say we have negative two times five times negative one, and there are two negative signs right here, which is negative two and negative one. And since we have an even number of negative value, our answer will be positive. And it's just two times five times one, which is equal to positive 10. And if I have negative two times negative five times negative one, since I have an odd number of negative values, which is negative two, negative five and negative one, my answer will be negative because I have an odd number of negative value and it's going to be negative 10. So these are the basic rules on how to multiply integers and the good thing about multiplying and dividing integers is that they share the same rule which is same sign is positive and different sign is negative. So if I have 30 divided by 5 30 divided by 5, knowing my multiplication table is equal to 6. And just like multiplication, we have several ways on how we can present an expression or equation involving division. Sometimes you'll see it in fraction form, and in this case, 30 divided by 5 is an improper fraction, 30 all over 5. And if we are using parentheses, we can also have 
30 and 5 inside the parentheses and divide them and it will be 6 still. And sometimes we can also use the slash or this particular fraction in representing 30 divided by 5, which is also equal to 6. So again, different notations, but the same way on how you simplify the equation. So let's say we have 30 divided by negative 5. And since we know that 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6, but since 5 is negative, our answer or quotient will be negative 6. And if I have negative 30 divided by negative 5, since they have the same sign, my answer will be positive and it will be positive 6. And if I have negative 30 divided by positive 5, since they don't have the same sign, it will be negative. So the rules for dividing and multiplying are just the same, but it's important that you should know the rule and you should know the different notations on how we present multiplication and division because 30 divided by 6 can also be represented as negative 30 divided by positive 5 in this form and we know that the result is going to be negative and it's going to be negative 6. And if I have negative 30 all over negative 5, my answer will be positive and it still be positive 6. So that's how we multiply and divide integers or positive and negative numbers, these are just the rules that you need to remember, which is pretty plain and simple. And what we're going to do next is the addition and subtraction operation of the positive and the negative numbers. And in this particular case, you need to know and visualize your number line in your head. So that is the intention and the objective of this particular lesson. I want you to know how to use the number line in adding and subtracting of integers. And eventually, when you do most problems using the number line, you'll be able to memorize or visualize it in your head and it will be a lot easier to answer positive or addition and subtraction of positive and negative numbers. So let's say that we're going to be using the number line in adding and subtracting two numbers. We know that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and we also know that 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 because those are just simple math equations that we're solving. But how do you visualize it in your number line? So this is your number line and in the middle it's going to be 0 and on both ends we have the positive and the negative numbers or values. So since 3 plus 5, we're going to start at positive 3 and we're going to move 5 units going to the positive direction, we are going to end up with 8 as our answer. So if we add 3 and 5 using the number line or visualizing our number, li number line, 3 plus 5 is that it's positive 3 and you move 5 units going to the positive so we end up with 8. So this is our value. And for 10 minus 8, we'll start at 10. And minus 8 means from 10, we're going to move 8 units going back to the negative sign, which is going to give us 2. And that is how we use our number line to visualize our addition and subtraction operation. So addition is moving to the right and subtraction is moving to the left. So that is what you need to remember when you're working with your integers. Zero, positive, and negative. So let's have more examples on how we use the number line when we add and subtract integers. Now some problems will be easy and some problems can be a little bit confusing. And again, the mastery of your number line is what you need to be able to confidently answer operations involving positive and negative numbers. So let's say I have four expressions that we're going to be adding. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative, and some of them are of different signs. So let's start with 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2, we will start with the positive 7, and positive 7 is over here, and we're going to move two units going to the positive direction, and it will end up at 9. So 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 if we're going to be using our number line. So if I have negative 7 plus 3, that means I'm going to start at negative 7 and I will move 3 units going to the positive direction which means I will end up with negative 4 as my 
value. So that is my negative 7 plus 3. And as I've mentioned, the closer your negative value is to 0, the bi bigger it gets or the bigger the value for that number gets. Now, let's say you have negative 10 plus 10. So that means I'm going to start at negative 10 and I'm going to move to the positive direction. And counting 10 units to the positive direction, I will end up at 0. That's why we represent 0 as our integers. And it's going to be the sum of negative 10 and 10. So this is how we add positive and negative numbers using our number line. And if you've noticed, all our arrows and direction is always moving to the positive side, which is the um, movement to the right because all of them are addition. Now, the next set of problems that we're going to be working on will be subtraction. And here we have 7 minus 2, 3 minus 8, 9 minus 11, negative 2 minus 5. And let's see how we're going to use our number line to find the difference between the two numbers. So let's say I have 7 minus 2. I'll start at 7 and I'll move 2 units going to the left this time and it's going to end at positive 5. So we have 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. And we're going to subtract problem number 2 which is 3 minus 8. So that means we're going to start at positive 3 and we're going to move our arrow 8 units going to the negative direction. And if we count 8 units going to the left, it will end up at negative 5. So negative 5 is the difference between 3 and 8. And if I have 9 minus 11, that means I'm going to start at positive 9 and I'm going to move 11 units going to the left or the negative sign and I'm going to end up with a negative answer and it will be negative two. So that is how you use your number line so that you can confidently answer the addition and subtraction operations of integers. So you don't need to guess whether you're going to be adding or subtracting two numbers or going to end up with a positive or a negative sign because you are visualizing the number line on how it works so that you can accurately answer the expression that you're working on. So if I have negative 2 minus 5, your answer will be shown in your number line. So you will start at negative 2, and from negative 2, you're going to be moving further to the left, 5 units going to the negative sign, and it will end up with negative 7. So that is how you use your number line in subtracting numbers or integers using our zero positive and negative sign. Now let's combine all these expressions and answer some weird and unconventional um, sum and difference of two numbers. So let's say I have 7 minus negative 2 and 9 plus negative 5 and if you'll notice with these two examples my operations in the middle of the two numbers are basically positive and positive and negative and negative. And in this case, we're going to be using the rule on how you simplify two negatives and different signs. So if I have same sign or two negatives, negative and negative is going to turn into a positive. So instead of answering 7 minus minus 2, simplify your expression and rewrite it into 7 plus 2. Because two negatives becomes positive, so ultimately or mathematically you are simply adding 7 and 2 when you are doing 7 minus negative 2 and we know that 7 plus 2 is going to be 7 and moving 2 units to the right which end up at 9 so we'll have positive 9 as our simplest form for 7 minus negative 2 and for 9 plus negative 5 before before you do anything if you're going to add or subtract simplify your expression first and you know that positive and negative is going to be negative. So instead of seeing and writing or working with problem like 9 plus negative 5, rewrite it and change it into 9 minus 5 using the rule of multiplying two um, signs or different signs. We'll have 9 and 5 going to the left. You'll end up with 4 and that will be your answer. So this is how you use your number line when you are adding and subtracting 
values like one and two. So let's say I have example number three and example number four. As I've mentioned, you're seeing two operations in the middle of the two integers. So what you will do is to simplify the expression by checking if they have two negatives or different signs. So if I have two negatives and I simplify it, it will turn into negative four plus five. And at negative four, I'm going to add five units, which means I'm going to travel five units to the right and I'm going to end up with one. So negative four plus five is equal to one. And for negative one plus ne plus minus or plus negative nine, I'm going to simplify, simplify positive and negative and it will give me negative one minus nine. So negative one minus nine, I'll start at negative one and I'm going to move nine units to the left and it's going to end up at negative 10. So negative one minus nine is equal to negative 10. And that's another way on how you add and subtract integers. And that is by simplifying your double operations in between the two integers. So when you're working with addition and subtraction of integers, as I've mentioned, it's important that you can visualize your number line in your head and the more that you practice and the more that you answer operations involving positive and negative numbers, the more that you'll be able to understand the concept of integers in your head. So that when you are asked to add and subtract integers without the number line, you'll be able to answer it easily if you can visualize it in our head. So let's try adding and subtracting integers, but this time I'm not going to ask you or I'm not going to show you the real answer, but its result. So we're going to tell whether our sum or difference is going to be a positive or a negative value. So for number one, 25 plus 65, if this is your number line, the middle is zero, and if this is your negative sign and this is your positive sign, Let's say 25 plus 65, 25 is going to the right and moving further to the right, that means it becomes more positive, so it will be a positive value. So that's how we know that we're visualizing our number line. So let's say I have nine minus 23. This is zero, I'll start at positive nine and I will subtract 23 from nine, which means I'm going to move 23 units going to the left and my answer is going to go or end up with a negative sign. So 9 minus 23, as I visualize in my number line, is going to give me a negative value. And again, I'm not going to answer the actual value that we're looking for. I just want to see if you are visualizing your number line in your head. So let's say I have negative 4 minus 13. This is 0. Negative 45 is somewhere here. And you subtract 13 from negative 45, which means you're going to travel 13 units more to the left, so your answer will still end up as negative. So that is how you visualize your number line when you're working with integers. And if I have negative 65 plus 82, so negative 65, add 82 to your negative 65, it will go past zero and your answer is going to be positive. So this is how you can tell if you are really understanding the concept of integers. And if you're going to be solving problems one, two, three, and four, it will be 90, negative 14, negative 58, and 17. And that is how we multiply, divide, add, and subtract integers. And if you happen to like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!